Hey guys, what's up Leo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. We are gonna do a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. First, we're gonna grab a few oracles from your angels, your ancestors, see what's going on around you guys. We are in the waning moon, which is a perfect time for rejuvenation, letting go of, you know, things you can't control or, um, you know, even just kind of tidying up email or text messages. It's kind of like getting rid of what you don't need to make room for the new, which is the new moon. All right. So Leo, you have communicate clearly and you also have reconsider. So there may be a decision that you're making or a situation that you're going through and kind of moving one direction, but it does involve like another energy with the communicate clearly, reconsider, and it's up to you. So it does kind of have the energy like, um, the ball is in your court and then you have perfect timing. So, <clears throat> It's kind of the the essence like you have a choice here and both ways you know it's it's almost like you're the magician you're kind of gonna call the shots around it but communicate clearly and also with that like get all the information and make sure that like the opposing energy everything is on the same page and you have all the information because it does feel like there's something here and it's just it's gonna come down to your decision but it does look like it's the perfect time whichever way you go um, but there may be one direction that you're kind of leaning towards a little bit more with the reconsider or an opportunity that you're not even in a situation you're not even entertaining. All right, so this is advice, messages from your angels, your ancestors. I love this deck. All right, so you have, and all the decks are down in the description. But you have Hunter, track down your fears and your desires. And you also have Winter, take care of your needs, which again is perfect timing with the waning moon. But also, you know, sometimes life gets so busy and situations get so hectic. Like, don't forget to take some time for yourself. You have Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. And I think that's why Hunter is really important over here with track down your fears and your desires. Like be aware of what you want. And also <clears throat> it's coming across like why you want it. I'm not really sure what that means, but that's that's what I hear. So you also have dru Druid. Hold the space and lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. So it, it kind of feels like something is about to come to blossom there, possibly in this new, <clears throat> excuse me, upcoming moon cycle. So let's grab some self-care cards and see what you can do for you right now. Leo, please. You have ground yourself. So meditate, take time for yourself, you know, balance your chakras light some sage whatever it is that you do but it does kind of feel like with this energy if you um are you know one to balance your chakras reiki meditate the crown chakra is going to be real important there you also have clean your space so you know take some time refresh clean you know get rid of even if it's you know um old clothes in your closet that you don't wear you also have sound healing so put on some music clean meditate let's get one more of these for leo please and you have aromatherapy so light a candle or an incense too put some crystals out take some alone time you also remember had winter here take care of your needs so it feels like you know take some time spend the day with yourself all right so messages for leo and then we will get to your immediate future 
What does Leo need to hear right now, please? Okay. Take a walk in the park and embrace nature. You also have take three slow breaths. I'm sorry, take three slow deep breaths in for four and out for six. You definitely could have cancer somewhere close in your chart or be dealing with the cancer like um I feel like this is some of these, not all of them are the same, but uh, follow the voice of your soul. Cancer definitely has some very different angel parts, but they also had that uh, take three slow deep breaths. So, all right, <clears throat> take your time on an activity or task you would normally rush and spend time alone and enjoy the moment. You had that a lot. Take care of your needs, alone time, spend time alone, and follow, and then with that, meditate, listen to your intuition, and what's your, the path that you're kind of guided towards. You do have, remember, reconsider there. So um, we'll see when we do this immediate future if um, like kind of a choice energy comes up and then we can better um, clarify the past. So we will go ahead, sorry. All right, we will <laughs> go ahead and get to the immediate future. It's like, ah, oh, we're gonna put them off. All right, Leo. So we are going to look at the situation, any obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation. So remember that the energies can be reversed. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you, whatever that you need to. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, do the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. It's the essence of there's something there somebody may have, you know, walked away from, disconnected from, but it is, it's like a, a very strong, determined, independent, maintaining energy. All right, so immediate future for, oh, hey, thanks for Leo. We got the magician, we got the queen of wands, that's you. You are manifesting, you have options, you're very confident there with the queen of wands. Oh, all right, let's see. Because this is definitely a backtracking energy. Make sure that you're not rushing anything or... Look, and, and the fact that you had reconsider here, when we're ending with the three of swords, that's heartbreak, that's pain, that's struggle. And we started with the magician. So let's find out what is going on here. Show me the magician for Leo. Oh shit. I don't want that many. What is Leo manifesting? Love, I can tell you that. You got the two of cups and the ten of cups may not be the right uh, time or something. This is mutual love and emotional fulfillment. This is Venus energy. This is love, romance, partnerships, manifesting around feelings. However, at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. This could be somebody who's silent. They could be coming towards you as well. Remember, the energies can be reversed. Somebody could ghost, could breadcrumb. It could just be something that's like very temporary. So let's just see how this is going. Definitely manifesting around love. Show me that Queen of Wands for the obstacle. The Queen of Wands is your energy. You could be dealing with another fire sign. The Queen of Wands is also um, very confident and has options. You got the Death card and the Six of Cups. For some, somebody may not be over a past situation because with the Death card there as the obstacle, that is Scorpio energy, but that's about forgiveness, release, trans transformations, and things like that. 
um, trust your intuition because it is very high right now, but also what you're manifesting, keep it to yourself right now. What is the death card? As the obstacle in the situation. You got the four of swords and the wheel. This is about forgiveness, release, taking time to heal, time to meditate, time to recuperate, recover, rejuvenate type thing. Because the wheel is at play. So if somebody like, like this is an uh, energy that can be rushed or counteracted. And um, let's see that three of swords for the outcome for Leo. So remember, this could always be the person that you're dealing with. If you are like sitting there saying, you know, I am healing and moving on and that type of thing. Um, it can definitely be reversed. You got the nine of wands, the three of swords there for the outcome. Take some time, take some time to let go of, of what's no longer serving you. Let go of what you can't control. Allow yourself time to heal. There's that eight of swords, or sorry, eight of wands and the eight of swords. So it does look like communication is going to come in. But it's going to come in at the when it's supposed to. And the wheel is there, so the wheel is at play. The four of cups. Yeah, see, with the four of cups here, um, the two of swords, it does look like somebody tries to talk. They want to communicate. They want to clear things up with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. But then you get the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. It still just stands at a standstill. Communication is coming through all, all at once, but it's coming across like, you know, you may be fed up, you may be done with this. You may be healing right now and not budging towards it. You may just kind of have phone on, do not disturb, and it can just be that simple. But um, there is some pain that's here and kind of like, you know, just things at a standstill right now. With the Queen of Wands, though, um, you know, this 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 energy over here could definitely be you fed up and this whole thing reversed. This, this person would be definitely wanting to talk to you and to approach you, but instead is really heartbroken and missing you. All right, Leo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading that is below as well you guys take care and i will see you next time bye